Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Thursday, October 15th, 2009. This morning I'd like to go through something that will make Store easier to work with on a local level. I'm not talking about sharing a repository with lots of people on a team, but having a personal repository that's really trivial to set up. To do that, what we need to do is load a contribution. So let's go to the Parcel Manager. And I'll bring this up here. And we're going to switch over to directories because the thing I want to load is in contributed, which means it's not fully supported, but it is actually part of web velocity, so it will probably be coming into the product in the follow-on to this release. So not in 7.7, but in the follow-on. And for that matter, not in Object Studio 8.2, but in the follow-on. So if I scroll down here, what we'll find is a couple of things we want to load. First thing is we want store for SQLite 3, so we'll load that. Now that'll bring in the support, and what I'm going to do is show you how to set up a repository because it's not completely obvious how this works. And to show you that this is useful, I'm going to load store for Glorp re replication as well so that we can see this thing in action. So let's bring that in. Now with that out of the way, what I need to do is I'm going to come down here and left click, and I'm going to say connect to. Now you'll notice that I'm starting to connect to something even though it's not set up. That's kind of the way you got to do this. So I'm going to say SQLite 3. Just put in the name of the file you want to have this stored in. So I'm going to call this my repository. And the username and password don't really matter, so I'm just going to put down my user ID for both. The user ID I use on this Mac. And then just hit save. So I'm going to call that my repo. Now that'll come up and I can connect. Now I'm going to get an exception. And that seems like, well, it didn't work. Well, it's correct, it didn't work, but it's easy enough to work around. What you do is you now put in this code, store.db registry install database tables. And since that was the last repository I tried to connect to, that's the one it's going to connect and create. And in terms of SQLite, all it does is put out a file under this name. So I now have a file called my repository, and I'll just answer yes to all these questions. And if I bring over a terminal and I say ls minus l my star, you'll see there's a little file, it's got some stuff in it. So let's move that back out of the way. And now what I can do is to show you that you can put things into this. I'm going to go to replicate. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick over here VR file, because I know there's a VR file reading package. I'm going to go for things named that, not published in the last 30 days, not just by me. Now I'm going to pick a source database, which is Syncom Smalltalk, and it's going to pick this up. And I'm going to pick, let's move this over, a target database, which is the one I just created. I'm going to pick all of these packages and move them over here. Now you're going to see it's going to pick those, and it's going to move them out of that list pretty quickly. So those are out. Now let's move this out of the way. What it's doing is it's busy replicating those. And if you look at the transcript, you'll see that it's actually done. So it moved that all pretty quickly. So let's close this down. And now we'll connect to that repository. And now we'll right click, Browse Published Items. And there it is with the full history. So it's in my repository as if this is where I originally published it. So if I wanted to work on this package while I was on a trip and I didn't have easy access to the public store repository, I could work on it, version of here, and then replicate my new work back to the Syncom Smalltalk repository easily enough. So two things I wanted to go through today that we've just covered. How to create a, My a SQLite repository, which is very easy to do, puts a file out on your local system, and you can now work with that very conveniently and how to replicate using store. And that, again, very easy to do. Might take a longer period of time than what I just showed you if you have something huge, like if I wanted to replicate, say, something I've been working on for a long time, like Bottom Feeder or my blog server. It might take it a while to replicate everything down, especially if I did recursive. But if it's something small like this, pretty quick. So that's it for today. Until next time, have fun with Smalltalk.